I wanted to take a moment to revisit another social issue that I've been talking about for quite some time now. That being abortion and right, uh, right to life, uh, how life is, uh, how precious life is, what choices do women's ha women have, uh, do you have a right to body autonomy, and all these other things that we're currently fighting against ever since, especially in this case, Roe v. Wade which, uh, yeah, there are so many people who are fighting against Roe v. Wade, and uh, some, I think, at one point, I'd even seen the Roe from Roe v. Wade uh, trying to say that she regrets that she was part of this lawsuit, that she, because she has been gotten a hold of by the right to lifers. But one more thing to add to the list is, if you believe in killing an abortion doctor based off of assumptions, based off of what you think they are doing, which in the case of fetuses or even cells that have just implanted themselves, you think that they are killing a baby. Because if I said that they were killing a fetus, most of you are less likely to be as reactionary. If I say they're killing a bunch of cells, like in the cellular stage of conception, you're not as likely to be as reactionary if I say that they are just killing babies left and right. I want to make this extremely clear for people who might be assuming my side of things here. Not that I've read the comment section at this point on my videos of abortion and pro-life and all that crap, but I believe that where abortion laws are are where they need to stay. I do believe there, be, there is a point where a fetus becomes a baby, and then there's a point where unless it's uh, endangering the mother, which has the potential to kill the child anyways, that, um, you know, that late-term abortion should remain illegal. Because uh, that's not a body autonomy issue. That's, that's, there, that's when a, a fetus has a heartbeat, when a fetus has... A, a brain and brain activity when a fetus has things going on to it that would make it considerably life. But everything before that, everything that's going on before that is not life. And to say that it is, is, is it's scientifically stupid for one thing. And the fact that it's given any credence whatsoever just boggles my mind. The fact that we are here in 2013 and we are fighting this battle amongst others, that we are fighting the battle of evolution versus creationism, especially down in Texas, especially down in Louisiana, that we are, that we've learned nothing. In the years that we, the many thousands of years that we have been on this continent, why did the Puritans leave England? Because they were feeling like they were religiously persecuted. But ahead of them were the Quakers. The Quakers believed, hey, if as long as you're a good person, we have no quarrel, we have no beef. We don't like what's going on in England, so we left so that everybody of every faith, no matter what faith of uh, sect of Christianity you were, they didn't care. They didn't even care if you were Puritan. They were fine with you. And these were the actual people who first came here to this country. Then along comes the Puritans who say, we're right. We're the way. We're pure, thus our name, Puritans. And they, they go on and they start subjugating the Quakers, the Quakers, people who felt that Indians deserved equal rights and equal pay for any work that they did for the Quakers. Oh, those terrible, terrible Quakers. Yeah, they deserved to be religiously persecuted by people who came to this country to escape religious persecution. And you know what? We're still fighting this. We have sects of Christianity that don't feel like they can mix well together. Uh, we have uh, Christian, uh, whole sects of Christianity that don't play well with any other religions and think they're all wrong and should be pushed off of this continent. You know, immigrants go home. 
Never mind the fact that almost all of you are immigrants. But again, Quakers are a nice little uh, footnote in history against that white guilt about what we did to the Indians. But that's a whole nother topic here. The fact that we are having a war against science and everything that science can do for us. And the fact that it's not coming just from the religious. The fact that we could have all the things that our, that our science fiction movies said we should have here in the year 2000. But we've stopped because we're so hung up on petty differences. A woman can't have her own body. Hell, we're still fighting over whether somebody has a right to assisted suicide. Meaning that your life and your body is your own until the moment that it might impact or hurt the feelings of those around around you and then their feelings have to be considered you have no right to end your own life and yada 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 and that's that's another topic that'll be getting into tonight but slain kansas abortion docs clinic reopens protesters seek rezoning to block facility if you believe if you're so pro-life that you believe the only way to protect life is to kill somebody based off of what you have been told that they are doing, which you have been had pounded into your head that they are doing, and not actually caring about what these people are actually doing. Oh, right, I forgot. Silly Octavius. Things like condoms and contraception is pre-murder of pre-life. Oh, how stupid of me to, to think that, that, that there was any way for me to lo inject logic and reasoning into this discussion. Oh, right, I keep forgetting. What was it that one particularly evangelistic user had once told me on uh, deviant art oh yes logic and reasoning are tools of the devil your prophetess if you only care about the life of that child before it is born if you're willing to kill somebody for your belief systems you have lost if you are willing to step outside the bounds of, at times, what your ideology actually calls for, because you want to take, you, you want those brownie points, you want to take that extra step to show that you're extra devoted to the cause, because you've been told that a cell is a baby, and that killing that is no different than killing children, then maybe it's not these doctors who are the people who are so disgusting. Maybe it's not these doctors who are the ones who are so dangerous. I've read at times cases where people bombed abortion clinics with pregnant people inside those clinics, thus becoming abortionists themselves. But no, they like to sweep that under the rug, just like many animal rights activists who go too far, and say, this was done in the name of purity. This was done in the name of morality. I've already talked about how flimsily those things are based off of, how, how thin the ice is that makes up the, that kind of reasoning. Although trying to reason with these people, the ice gets much thicker, as does their heads. There is no right for you to do this. You want to force motherhood sometimes on people who are not good people, who are not good parents. And as I've talked about time and time again, you then have CPS busying their time on my doorstep in the past, when they should be on the doorstep of these people who you feel everybody should be a parent, never mind whether they need to be a parent, whether they can be a parent, whether they have the finances, the mental stability, and everything else that goes along with parenting, because I can tell you from experience, it's not a walk in the park, especially when you're doing it as a single parent.